Hey everyone, Sergey Praknevsky here from Ukramedia.com, and in this 10th Learn From The Pro series on Adobe After Effects, we're talking about text animation. All right, so we are in After Effects, and for this video, we're gonna pick up where we left off in the previous video. So if you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you do. And here's where we left off. We have something like this right now. As you can see, this transition animates in and it reveals our composition here, but our composition does have static text. So that's what we're gonna do in this video. We're going to animate this text. So let's do that. We're going to go into this text pre-comp. We're going to double click. And now we are in this text pre-comp. We're gonna to go to this text. We're going to collapse it down and we're going to play with this animate feature. So when you click on this button, we have all of these properties that we can animate. We can animate position, scale, skew, all of that. So let's click on position first. When you do that, automatically creates a new tab for animator one, and we do see our position, but we're not stuck to just position. We can actually add more by going over here and clicking on add. We can go to property and we can click on something like scale. As you can see, now we have position and scale. So let's keep going, let's add more. We can go to property and let's add rotation and let's add one more property and opacity. So now we have all four of them in here. And as you can see right now, these are the default values. Nothing really changed to our text. It doesn't animate or anything. So this is the starting point of our animation. So let's adjust position on the X. And to do that, we can just hover our mouse over the value and we can either click and drag or we can just hover again and click on it and then we can change the value by typing our number. In this case, we're gonna type 500. And let's adjust scale, let's just crank it up a bit. Let's adjust rotation, something like that is good. And opacity, let's take it down all the way to zero. So again, this is the starting point of our animation. And it's gonna start from here and it's going to animate to the original state. So this is the starting point and we're going to where it was before. So as of right now, not much is going on because we still have to animate this thing. And to do that, we're gonna to go to this range selector. So let's collapse it down and we have more options in here. We have starting point, we have ending point right here. So we can animate these. We also have offset, something like this. Actually, we're gonna be dealing with offset. So that's what we're gonna be animating. All right, so let's keep going. Obviously we can set keyframes, but let me show you some other features. So in here under advanced, we have some more things. So as you can see, this one right here, it says based on, we can animate based on characters, just one letter at a time. We can say words. If you pick words, you can see we can animate words. If you pick something like, let's do lines. You can do the same thing for lines. So you get the idea what this one does, but we're gonna set this one to words. And then we're gonna go over here to shape. So right now it's set to square, but I'm gonna select this ramp up. So when you do that, it's gonna give us a better result. So if I move on this, you can see we can start from negative 100 and now it slowly animates in. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set this at negative 100 right at the beginning here, set a keyframe. We're gonna go forward 30 frames, shift page down three times, one, two, three. And let's move this value all the way to positive 100. So now this is what we have. If I preview this, you can see it's, it's not bad, it's looking decent but we're not done yet. Let's talk about easing. We've talked about easing in previous videos, but text animation has easing as well. We have this ease high and ease low. So ease high is for start animation. This is where we can adjust easing for our starting animation of our text. So right now, if I set this to 100%, the text is gonna be pretty smooth at first. As you can see, it's gonna slowly and then snap, something like this, one at a time. So that's what ease high does. But I'm gonna set it, let's do it to something like zero. All right, ease low, it's for when it arrives. So I want it to be smooth as it arrives individually. So we can set this ease low to something like 100. So now if I preview this, you can see it's looking very smooth and I like it, I like what I see. So we can adjust things again. You can go back to these properties, you can alter them, you can even bring in more stuff. You can go to add and let's bring something like tracking, right? We can set the initial tracking point here to something like this and you know, obviously you can create all kinds of custom animations. I just wanna show you what's possible within this. But for our example here, I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna select it, hit delete, 
that one as well. Same thing for rotation and scale. I'm only going to hold on to position and opacity. So essentially, here's what I have. I have something like this. It's nothing complicated, but it gives us a nice animation. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to deselect everything and then press U to reveal all of our keys. So we only have two. So that's what we have, something like that. Let's go to the composition before this one. If you hit tab or this button right here, we can kind of navigate to the composition before that one, which is this. So here's what we have. We have this transition animating in and then our text. Now for the text animation, I want for it to start later. So we're going to offset it a bit. So maybe right about here, that's where I wanted to start. So let's go into this text animation. I'm going to double click here to go into it. And we're going to move this text layer to about, let's see, maybe right about here. So it's going to start animating here like this. All right, so let's go back to the composition before this one. Hit tab and let's go back. So now here's what we have. We have transition then we have our text. Let's preview this. And as you can see, it's looking very nice. But we're not done yet. Here's what we're going to do next. I'm going to select this transition right here, this one, and so is that one. So I'm going to select both of them. And I'm going to duplicate it, Control D. And I'm going to put it at the very top right here. I'm going to move it to about three second mark right here. And basically it animates in. And then I want to animate out like this. So I'm going to use this top layer to animate out. So I'm going to make it visible. And then I'm going to set the blending mode of it to silhouette alpha like this. When you do that, it's going to animate out. So let's preview this animation. And it's looking very nice. We created something very interesting with little effort. All right, well, that's the end of this video. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for coming along on this journey of learning After Effects. And be sure to check out all the other videos from this Learn From The Pro series on Adobe After Effects. But in the meantime, my name is Sergey Praknevsky, and I'll see you soon.